Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Kiss Dip Powder Nails that we did almost two weeks ago. Today's Saturday, so tomorrow would make exactly two weeks. You guys, these nails have held up like true champs. I am so impressed there is literally hardly any damage at all to the nails there's a little bit of lifting around the cuticle which is probably just application error or something i messed up on like i mentioned it was my first time trying the kit other than that they look really really good so i wanted to try a fill-in on them today so that way i don't have to start out from scratch with a new set if the fill-in goes anything like the new set then it's going to be great i know it's going to be great and i can't wait to see how it turns out i also want to change the shape so right now i have a ballerina or coffin shaped nail and i wanted to round out the in so that it's more of an almond shape and change the color to a pretty pink so I'm looking forward to that but yeah no trouble at all two weeks strong they still look great other than the length now the length is a whole different story because I did I had some challenges with like my keyboard and doing things around the house using buttons and getting zippers up on my clothes certain things like that you know having long nails they change things okay they do but honest review love them love them love them if you're thinking about trying it out go ahead and do it and we are going to go ahead and get into this video stay tuned Mwah. hey smileys hey back with another nail dit here's where we left off with the kiss dip powder french tips nail kit Can you believe these are two weeks old? I mean, really, come on. These do not look two weeks old. Okay, here goes. First, I'm going to remove the clear coat from the nails using a cotton swab and some non-acetone polish remover. You don't want to use an acetone remover because it breaks down the dip powder and that's not the goal here. We only want to remove the polish. Next, I used a metal cuticle tool to push back and shape my cuticles. Pushing back your cuticles with a cuticle stick can make your nails appear longer while simultaneously keeping your cuticles healthy. I use the rounded end to gently push back the cuticle and the pointy end or pointed end to remove any particles. Next, I used a nail file to remove any remaining shine and also to file down the area where the dip powder and the natural nail meets so that the next coat of dip powder goes on smoothly, a lot like the traditional acrylic nail fill-in. This is the area where my nails have grown out a bit so I filed down the existing dip powder to blend it with my natural nail bed. Filling in your dip powder extends the life of your set and allows you to switch up the look without starting from scratch, so it's way quicker than doing a fresh new set. As with any mani, properly prepping the nails helps to ensure long-lasting wear. Creating a rough texture on the nail helps the dip powder to adhere to the nail better. Next, I use a 100 grit file to go from the coffin shape to an almond shape. Holding the file at an angle, I filed down each corner and then rounded out the tip using a U-shaped motion. Here's what the coffin shape looks like compared to the almond shape. Almond shaped nails definitely resemble the shape of an almond. They elongate short fingers and add a very classically feminine look and shape to the nail. 
After shaping, I used a buffer to buff and smooth out the nail surface, removed the dust, and thoroughly washed my hands and nails. Here's the new shape, and I love it. Now I'm going to apply the dip powder using the same steps in my last video. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. I apply one even coat of the brush on gel to the entire surface of the nail like so, getting as close to my cuticle as possible without touching the skin. Then I pour the dip powder over the nail, and I repeated this process on all nails and use this cute fluffy brush to remove excess powder. Now keep in mind, if you have major lifting, it's probably be better to soak off the dip powder and start fresh to avoid any contamination. But if your mani is still in pretty good shape, why not save some time with the fill-in instead? Why not? After I finished applying the dip powder, I returned the remaining product to the container to be used again. I apply one coat of dip powder and then apply two coats of the activator. I allowed the activator to dry and harden the nail for at least two minutes. Then I buffed and buffed and buffed some more and buffed again before I washed my hands a second time. Then I applied an OPI clear base coat Base coats create a smooth base and preps the nail for better color and a smoother finish. A smoother finish will leave a glossier looking nail, so never skip the base coat. Now for polish. This color is by OPI and it's called It's a Girl. Get into it. I have so many pinks and it's hard to choose, but I finally decided on this one. It's a powdery pastel pink that can be used alone or layered under another color. It is slightly sheer, so I applied two coats. I think this almond shape looks really great with any color, but certainly nudes and pastels. This pink is just perfect. I finished it off with a clear OPI top coat to create a high shine, glossy finish. The top coat is the last layer applied in the manicure process. It seals everything together so the polish is less likely to chip so you get longer lasting wear out of your color. Lastly, I apply some cuticle oil. This one is QCO's Natural Milk and Honey Cuticle Revitalizing Oil. And that's a wrap. I can get two more weeks out of this set of nails at least. Thanks for watching, Smileys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a big thumbs up. See you in the next one. Mwah.